Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial, we will be learning how to create defects in quality test management tool. So uh, let's see some of the features. Uh, quality helps to organize and implement the better testing with uh, all the team members, uh, projects and uh, helps in requirement management. Uh, the tool helps manage and coordinate the tasks uh, during the life cycle of one or more multiple projects, keeping all the team members aligned and you can customize your roles, permissions and notifications. So quality offers you various uh, integrations with the different uh, defect management tools like Jira and it adds a value uh, by defining all the details about a defect and linking it to the defect management tool. Uh, it provides you a two-way integration allowing you to make custom fields to suit any business context. So as you all know that defects uh, are the most important part uh, for uh, the testing people and it helps you uh, make the quality of a software better. The more defects, the quality becomes more better. So let's see how we can raise defects in quality tool. Let's go to our dashboard. So you can create defects from uh, two options. One of the options is quick actions and a new defect. Another option is you can see here defect management. Let me expand it a little bit. Yeah. So see here defect management. So let's create a defect and see what all fields are required for the same. Okay, so these are some uh, default defects that are present in the tool or uh, that are offered by the tool. So this is how a defect looks like. Uh, let's create a new defect. Clicking on new defect. So these are some of the options that you need to select. What build you are in and what is the module uh, you want to select like defect management and the requirement. So the defect type is a functional defect or a cross browser defect or a UI defect, field validation, what kind of defect it is. Say I select as field validation. Uh, what is the operating system and what is the browser you have found the defect on? Or uh, if it is a mobile defect, what are the devices that are uh, uh, there on which the defect exists? Then we have the severity of uh, the defect that can be a blocker defect or a major defect or a minor defect. So, and the status will be open initially because it's a new defect. Now, next field is the defect description. Uh, define the description, say uh, login is not working. I just have given you an example. So login is not working. Uh, this is the defect description. Then what are the steps to reproduce? You have to mention all the steps and what is the actual result and the expected result. Okay, if you want to put any comments, you can put it out here. Now comes the another set of fields that is assigned to uh, whom you want this defect to be assigned. Normally it is a developer. Then what is the priority of the defect? Low, medium, high. You can select as per the defect that you have raised. Then we have uh, defect viewers. Means who all will be able to see the updates happening on this defect. So you can add the users out here. Okay. And finally comes the attachment. So you have to uh, give the screenshots. Where is the defect? Uh, and uh, what all platforms it is affecting? And if you have any video, you can attach the video as well. So the respective formats uh, you can see here. If you want to attach a video, that should be an MP4 or FLV or uh, WebM extension. And if for normal attachments, that could be a GIF, JPG, uh, PDF, Doc, CSV or Excel PPT files. Okay, so after you have uh, filled all the fields, you can just click on save. Okay, so see, this is the defect I have logged in. These are all the details of the defect created. What is the status, the defect type, the blocker that is severity. And uh, 
okay so this is uh, how we can create defects in uh, quality another option we have is uh, from new defect from the quick actions so same fields will be available here okay uh, okay let's see what else is available out here suppose uh, you want to do with all the defects I mean you want to do some changes on the defects so if you select here so two buttons will get enabled action and bulk edit so in the action you can delete all these defects at one go or you can copy these defects and if you go on bulk edit so it will ask you like what field you want to uh, do a bulk edit on like build or the module you want to update the requirement or the functionality and etc as soon as you click on apply that particular field will be updated on all the uh, defects okay and uh, this is uh, the download template you can uh, download these all defects into these available templates csv xlsx and uh, doc say for example i click on xlsx so it says info preparing a file and file is ready click here to download and this is the report for all the defects so let's see what is, let's see what is there in the excel file so so all the defect ids the defect descriptions along with all the fields what are the steps what is the expected result actual result project id requirement title and the date reported so it's a kind of uh, you know the defect list if you want to share with someone so it will help you in that so this is how uh, you can download and the several formats are available like doc and excel that just now we have downloaded and the csv so whichever is convenient to you you can uh, click on it and download next option we have is the import csv you can import the defects also if you have uh, any uh, you know file of defects which you want to import here you can simply click on uh, the csv import csv and you have to choose the particular file so just choose the file click on next and it will be imported so all those defects will be seen out here okay and last is if you want to delete the defect so if you go here click on delete it will ask you for a pop-up are you sure you want to delete click on delete so so success defects successfully deleted see your defect is gone from here okay so uh, this is how uh, we can create defects and we can do some actions on the defects i hope it is clear to all of you and if you have any doubts do put a comment and i'll be happy to help you out if you like the video do subscribe my channel and keep learning in life thank you bye bye